there are three kind of machine learning algorithms supervised learning when there is a dependent variable and dependent variable is known unsupervised learning when there is no dependent variable and then comes the third kind of which is called reinforcement learning i'm going to introduce you to reinforcement learning by an example you'll get to know the concept behind autonomous car driving and through this example you learn what is reinforcement learning after doing this tutorial you'll get to know that how does an autonomous car work however this will be a simplistic explanation of how an autonomous car work so let's first understand what is reinforcement learning reinforcement learning simply put together is all about can a computer program a complete certain task by observing situation and exhibited behavior let me give you an example autonomous car driving a driver a human driver can exhibit certain behavior seeing traffic signal traffic situation angle of the road all those things situation of the road and all those things so these are the situation and these are the exhibited behavior similarly can a program learn how to play chess by observing a situation that how the opponent is playing and what behavior is being exhibited by the human swarm intelligence bird flocking bacteria growth lot of other areas where it can be applied in all these situation if you look at there are two things one is the situation which is like input like traffic signal road situation angle of the road all those are the input and exhibited behavior are the output or what depends on this like driver turning the steering wheel applying a brake or reducing the speed all these are the output now let me show you the same thing by an example so let me explain you the this particular part that how a computer program can learn to accomplish certain task by observing situation and exhibited behavior by a situation so i'm going to explain you autonomous driving how does it actually work so let's take a scenario in fact what are the ingredients that will you require simplistically put together it will require cameras in fact might be two because one to read the traffic signs and another to read the road situation then a steering wheel sensor which can record at what angle is the steering wheel as well as the speed sensor which can record what is the speed now how it will work so if you are in a road and if your road is like this by looking at the edges difference from both sides of an image you can get to know what is the angle of the road and then you can take a look that what angle has been taken by the steering wheel and what angle has been taken what speed has been taken by the driver if you look at in this situation the road angle is the x and these are the dependent variable these are all this is how it is changing depending on this this is how it is changing also if you look at the speed it's relatively difficult the reason is that speed will also depend on probably the gradient of the road if the gradient of the road is like this you'll actually be in trouble because if the road is turning like this you'll ideally like gradient to be like this and if the gradient is like this where this part is little above the ground and this is slanting then obviously you can get little extra speed so if you look at in these cases these are x what is x like road angle road gradient these are x these are inputs and what are the exhibited behavior like steering wheel angle the speed these are the y the moment you can establish these relationship a computer program can exhibit the intelligence similar to human driver also what you need to understand is a very simplistic case because there will be situation there will be complexities like road condition visibility all those things will decide that what will be the speed of the driver again another situation a computer program needs to learn a traffic sign if you see a stop sign a number of time it means that you need to stop for some seconds so if you to look at this is the situation and what a computer program needs to do it needs to stop for some time for this for doing this a computer program needs to learn 
to read the character. Character recognition becomes very important and stop the car for some seconds. A stop can be written in a variety of way, in a variety of uh, variety uh, of board and it needs to learn and it needs to stop for some second. Also, it actually needs to read these character because otherwise, you know, if it starts stopping by looking at just the board, it might end up stopping everywhere, which it should not do. You will not like the car to stop at every restaurant. So the trick is that it should be able to read it and interpret it the way human driver interprets. Similarly, it should be able to read the traffic situation. If it is a red sign, it should mean that it should stop. And if you look at what it will take to understand, it will take the computer program to understand the picture. Understand that, okay, which color is active and take, take a situation, take a decision accordingly. Similarly, if you look at, if a car finds this kind of situation where it finds that this side there is a car, this side is a slow moving car and this side it is available, it needs to decide that okay, it needs to take turn an angle and just go to this lane. Similarly, if at all, you know, you are in just one lane car, one lane and you find that there is a slow moving car. So you are here, you find that your car is approaching and it has reached below a threshold the car ahead is not moving. For example, you have reached less than a threshold and there is no lane other than that to go. What will you do? You like to stop, right? And that's what the program needs to learn. That when there is a not, there is a single lane, there is a car which is not moving, you have reached less than a threshold, you need to stop. If you look at in this situation, these are the axes all these situation and this is why exhibited behavior. The moment program learns all those things, it will learn how to deal with traffic, it will learn how to deal with road angle, rates road situation, it will learn how to behave in multi-lane case as well as in single lane case. I hope this has given you a good start with that how does an autonomous car work what it takes as input, what it takes as output and how does the neural network learn these techniques. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel. I keep uploading new videos. Also, please feel free to leave your comments. Thank you.